let's try to get through this stuff. I know it's a little bit dry, but as I mentioned, guys, my goal is to give you guys basically the last half an hour of class, all right, to be working on your stuff. So let's try to get through this. I only have four more to go after this, or three more to go after this one. So here I have the square root of 48, all right? Now there's a problem, because square root of 48 is not a square number. We need to have a square number, right, because that's what the index is. Correct? So it doesn't matter even if it was, it's not, but what if it, if it was a cubic or a four quartic or so forth. So what I'm going to need to do, though, is now I'm going to start using these rules. All right? And what I want to do is say, all right, I know 48 is not a square number, but can I rewrite 48 as a product of a square number and another number? Yes, kid. What, could, what would be the product? 12, 12 and 4. Now, 4 works. Four, 4 fits in there. That's correct. Is there another square number, though? Yes, Brendan. Is there another square number that divides into 48? Yes. 16. So you want to do 4. Kate wants to do 16. If you both do it, you're both going to get the correct answers. I know, but what I'm going to tell you is if you chose 4 and she did 16, you would both get this right answer. However, I'm just going to tell you, you would have to simplify it twice, whereas she would only have to simplify it once. So the tip, the kind of the tip that I'd like you guys to do is when you're looking for rewriting this as a product of square numbers, always choose the largest square number that divides into the number. Okay? So you're not wrong. I'm just telling you it'd be easier to use 16 than 4. So what I'm going to do is I'll break this up into the square root of 16 times 3. Does everybody agree with me on that? Now, I'm going to do this one time. I usually skip this step, though, when I'm teaching. But you guys understand, if you have now the product of a root, you can break that up into 16 times the square root of 3. Right? That's based on this rule. Yeah, I, I tell, I'm going to do this step one time because I'm teaching. And then from now on, I'll usually skip this last step. So can I rewrite 16 as, remember these all have the index 2? So can I rewrite 16 as a number raised to the second power? 4. 4, right? Can I rewrite 3 as a number raised to the second power? No. So I leave it under the radical. And that would be your final simplified answer. 